Hello and welcome again. I think some of you may have not seen me for a while uh, or haven't seen anything new on this channel and the reason is that um, my three children and I were traveling for six months around the world, first to Europe, then America and Canada and uh, facilitated my workshops everywhere and also had a marvelous time um, together as a family. So therefore I haven't been um, producing a lot of videos. My intention for this year is to create a lot more um, content in the form of videos um, as I uh, know that a lot of people like to have the visual contact and um, I also know what I really like is when I do a, a direct transformation uh, online whether it's recorded or live um, the um, transmission or the transformation goes out whenever you watch it anywhere on this planet. The channel has grown quite a bit so welcome to everybody is new. I'm excited that you discovered the two-pointing method and that you are obviously enjoying it. I would like to talk a little bit about patterns today just briefly um, and then think about a format that suits um, the most most of the people so finding the right timing, not having too long videos, but having them long enough so that you actually gain some um, information from them. I noticed a lot on this um, journey that the so-called energy blocks, or we call them problems, whether they are in relationship to uh, money or our health and well-being or in our direct relationship with people, are the same everywhere, whether it was, you know, any country in Europe or any country in America um, or Canada or here in New Zealand for that matter, most of our problems are actually exactly the same. And I discovered that a lot of these um, issues and energy blocks that we are having have been created by generations before us and we are still carrying the same issues and I call them patterns um, with us. A pattern is uh, something that you can recognize it um, in something that repeats in your own life over and over and over. Um, for example, attracting the right partner. When you had quite a few partners in your life and you are looking always for a new one and thinking that next one looks quite different and feels quite different, but when you are a little longer with them together, you will experience they are um, exactly the same as the one before. That's a pattern. Um, if you, um, like myself, have been a victim of abuse and you haven't transformed those beliefs in your subconscious, you might still a person that is attracting abuse in your life. And that abuse can come in many different forms. It doesn't necessarily have to come in the same form as you experienced it. But you, uh, if you are one of those and you still have that in your life, that is an ind indication that you continue to carry that pattern um, that, by the way, surprisingly is still worldwide um, a pattern in many, many, many families. Um, and you're still carrying this pattern. So then the two-pointing method can help you to transform it. And what I love about this is I'm not only transforming it for myself, I am at that point when I talk about a pattern, breaking the pattern here and now so it's not continuously going to the future generations and also has a direct impact on my far past genetic line as well. Um, pattern can be recognized anywhere. Um, sometimes we are not aware that we are reliving a pattern over and over and over. Um, but again, the beautiful thing in two-pointing is you don't need to know exactly what it is. All you need to know is you are experiencing something in your so-called outside world that is limiting you or restricting you uh, or making you feel really unwell, sick, frustrated, angry, any of those things. That's all we need to know. And that is an indication that there is something in our subconscious that wants to be transformed. Because um, if you remember from my videos, we are mainly living on autopilot um, from all the beliefs that have been created and 
placed in our subconscious when we were little. And from that, they are still putting um, out, also there is this process that creates opportunities and circumstances to each and every one of us that prove to us that we are right in what we believe in our subconscious, not in our conscious mind. Uh, but we are not going into that today. It's um, a basis for another session, maybe. So let's just um, um, choose one of those patterns um, and work with them. Um, for this little session, because I just started something new, you don't really have to know any of this. Um, all you need to do is you just sit back and relax and let this transformation kind of wash over you. I will do all the work because I found a way to communicate with all the fields, all those patterns, um, and and do the work for you in this instance. So you just sit back and relax, and I um, will do my little work. I just explain a little bit in between, uh, but not too much, because I want, as I say, I want this session um, not to be too long. So first thing, remember, I always go into mental level alpha, um, reducing my brainwave frequency to an alpha level. Then I remind myself that everything is light and information and that I'm connecting with that particular field. Then I drop into my heart and I'm grateful that everything has already been transformed and dissolved. And then I'm, I, I'm connecting with your limiting patterns, including mine, because we are all connected, and asking are there any emotions related to this blockage or those blockages. And any of you who haven't seen me before, as soon as I discover a resonance and transform it, um, I yawn. So I can't even say uh, at the time. So when, you, I, when I experience a resonance, I state in my mind, be transformed or be dissolved and wait for this wave to um, come through me. And um, for me, um, when I transform, I immediately release the block by yawning. And I ask that question up to three times. So I'm scanning kind of all the fields here and the energy fields. Then I'm asking, are there any limiting beliefs related to these issues? And again, if I feel a resonance, I simply state, be transformed or be dissolved or any other word that I resonate with at the time. Then I'm asking if there is a causal event related to this issue and in this instance that definitely will be the case because a pattern as I mentioned is something that you are most likely have picked up from your parents, they from their parents, they from their parents again. So it's something that has been passed on from generation to generation so the um, there is, it's very likely that is a causal event and in this instance I would be asking to, find, to start um, kind of the question at um, the first family member in your line to see and then going closer to my body that represents going closer to my existing family line and if I feel a resonance anywhere and it doesn't matter where it is, it's not about finding out where or who or what, um, it's about finding out is there a causal event for this pattern and if yes, which is very likely, uh, we transform it right there and then. And by transforming that um, at that point too means that for all generations that followed, including mine, that block will be transformed at the same time. And then after we did the 
that part I'm just always asking are there any other blockages that I don't name now or haven't even thought of anything else related to this issue and if I feel a resonance and again resonance for me um, everybody feels this differently I have tingling in my fingers other people feel a push or a cloud other people feel a pull towards the body other people see colors um, other people feel nothing they just know um, it's different for all of us and it's different each time um, I do transformations or I do two-pointing the least expectation we have um, the more open we are the easier this work becomes and then uh, after I've done all the transformation I'm now integrating resources that would be all helpful for all of us to transform these blockages and this time when I feel the resonance I state integrate There's lots and lots of resources for all of you. Um, I noticed already this year is quite different in energy and manifestation happens really fast. Whether it's something that you think you really want or something that you think you don't want. It goes really quick. And towards the end, I just connect with our future aspects that have transformed all this already. Okay, I will promise I do a longer session fairly soon. Um, in regards to patterns, one thing I wanted to mention too is that um, sometimes when we experience a particular pattern um, in one way or one form, it can actually um, manifest in our life in a different kind of form and to give you a little example um, and I discovered that more and more through um, my work with different kind of people in private sessions um, I had a uh, one had a few clients actually who had some issues their parents and their mother in particular was um, unable to express emotion um, in a in an open a safe um, and um, loving kind of way towards their children and the children perceived this as I'm not loved I'm not good enough no matter how hard I try she will never like me um, all that stuff that that happens it's not about blaming because um, we are all just picking up patterns from our parents so those our parents themselves have picked up the same stuff from theirs um, and that doesn't mean they are bad people and I'm not blaming them at all they just also have not learned um, how to express unconditional love in a in a physical manifested safe joyful kind of way so that child experienced the mother was unable to express her emotions fully and the child perceived this and picked up certain beliefs how this now played out for um, a lot of those was that um, it didn't manifest in the form that they were um, not straight away unable to show expression to their children. Quite often actually the opposite happened. However, how it manifested in their um, um, world is that they had physical problems. Um, a lot of them had and the inability to move certain body parts, like um, they had one side of the arm, for example, that is completely frozen, or um, they had an injury that prevented them from expressing who they really are. So a pattern um, that looks like something in one way can be manifested in a different form in your own experience. Um, so it's not just about looking at um, uh, you know, my um, my mom did this, so uh, I don't want to do the same. Um, and I am showing my children um, 
I express myself freely, etc., in front of them. So I don't have that pattern. That pattern may have manifested in my life in a different way or a different form. The beautiful thing is we don't need to know exactly what the patterns are. We don't need to know how they manifest here. We don't need to know where they come from. All we need to know at this point is we are experiencing some form of limitation, whether this is physically, mentally, um, or in the form of relationships, and we would like to transform that and experience something that is um, allowing us to express who we really are. These amazing beings and souls that are living in these bodies all have a gift to share, um, have no limitations, um, only experience abundance. That's who we really are. But most of us are not living from that place. Most of us are living from um, on autopilot from our subconscious mind that has um, a lot of limiting beliefs um, that are limiting us from experiencing who we really are and experiencing this beautiful world in the way that we would um, really like to experience it including sharing all the individual gifts that we have. So that's what um, I believe two-pointing can really help you with. Um, it is continuously helping me to express myself in, in different ways and forms. And I'm so grateful that um, I had the opportunity to be on this trip, to meet you and so many different um, new people on this journey. And I am so grateful for the internet and the ability uh, for, for us to communicate, to connect and share this information in such an easy um, and joyful way. So watch out for some more. This year for me is all about increasing my presence online. Uh, I would appreciate if you come to my Facebook page or maybe like it and share it or share my videos if you feel they could benefit um, some of your friends or acquaintances in any shape or form. If you want to contact me, just use my website and come send me an email or connect with me via Facebook or Google Plus and LinkedIn. Um, I would love to hear from you. Love and light and joyful smiles from me. Bye-bye.